I'm Julie Frota and every week we post a different tutorial video here in the Splits Project channel. This week we are going to talk about the middle splits. But before we move on, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to this channel. This tutorial is not just for pole dancers, it's for all the kinds of dancers and people interested in yoga and maybe martial arts, everybody who is interested in getting more flexible. And I know a lot of people struggle with the middle splits. I've been receiving a lot of requests for doing this video totally dedicated for middle splits and I believe the reason for that is because it's one of the most difficulties that people have. Most of them can stretch in so many different positions but the middle splits is usually the hardest one. And I'm going to show a few techniques here to improve it and also we are going to focus on not getting your knee hurt because that's also a problem that a lot of people have. They start stretching the middle splits. Sometimes because you're feeling so much pain in different places, you may not even understand if this pain is supposed to be there or not. So here's a warning. No, if you're feeling your knee, you shouldn't be feeling this pain. You should limit your pain to the area of your adductors. But now let's see what we can do about it. Let's start with some rotation movements to warm up the adductors. We should do 10 rotations for each direction, both legs. Now, let's lay down on the floor with your legs up. Hold your feet or your ankles, whatever feels more comfortable. Take a deep breath and bring your knees to the floor as you breathe out. You should feel the entire back in contact with the floor. Let's repeat this movement at least three times. For the last time, hold the position for longer, no less than 30 seconds. And if you can stay longer, then it's bad. Now butterfly position. Again, try to keep the entire back in contact with the floor and push your knees to the floor. You should engage your lower abs and glutes to keep the back aligned. Now arch your back so that you can bring your knees even closer to the floor and then align your back to the original position. Try to keep your knees closer to the floor. Repeat these at least three times. Relax your legs. The exercises we are doing here in this tutorial but have the knee bent, like for instance the frog position, the butterfly. They have the intent to improve your middle splits, but at the same time they protect your knee. The movements that are in the straddle position, they are great for middle splits, but you have to pay more attention to see if you're not feeling pain on your knee in the process, so that you don't get hurt. 
Now let's remove the rubber mat to the frog position. It's easier if you're in a sliding surface. Engage your glutes, trying to bring your pelvis to the floor. Stay for at least 30 seconds. Now let's sit in a straight up position with hands in front of you. You're gonna slide your hands to the front and to your limit. Stay in your limit for some time and then you repeat the movement trying to reach even further. Take a deep breath, empty your lungs and try to go further. Do not rest your elbows on the floor. When you support your body with your elbows, it holds you back and makes it difficult the work of the gravity to push you to the floor. Keep your arms extended so that the weight of your body will help the movement. Now for the next exercises, we are gonna need to use the wall. These ones are my favorite middle split practices. Lay down on the floor with your legs up against the wall and open the straddle position until your limit. Keep in mind to keep your entire back in contact with the floor all the time. When you reach your limit, you're gonna stay there for some time, minimum 30 seconds. After some time, you should feel that the pain is not so strong anymore, and that allows you to open your legs a little bit more. Repeat it a few times. Bring your legs back very slowly, not to hurt your muscles. Relax your muscles. Next exercise is gonna be with your belly on the floor. Note that I removed the rubber mats to make it easier to slide. The idea is the same as in the previous exercise. Stay in your limit and every time you feel your muscles relaxed, you can go further. Engage the muscles of your lower abs and glutes if you feel your pelvis coming out of the floor. Next position will be facing the wall. Push your body as close to the wall as possible. Again, Every time you feel your muscles relaxed, push it even further.
Now, for the next exercise, you need some yoga blocks. I don't have any at home, so I guess this is a good opportunity to use my husband's Harry Potter collection. Place the block under your knee. This way you can force the stretching, but also avoiding injury in your knee. That is particularly good if you already have 108 degrees split and want to get an over split. If you feel that it is too easy, you can add more blocks. Always try to bring your pelvis to the floor. If that is too easy, we can bring something more challenging. Once again, you should stop if you feel pain on your knees. Go back slowly and relax your legs. So that was our middle splits practice. I really love sharing this with you because I'm a huge fan of middle splits. I guess you can notice that. And there are so many movements that we can do using the middle splits, like the spatchcock, the kite. They look really cool and it requires a lot from the middle splits. Also, of course, not for pole dancers, for any kind of dancers and other practices, you're gonna benefit a lot from having an improved middle split. So if you like the video, give a thumbs up here and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the next information that I'm going to share with you. See you next week.